be easy to do business with. When you, when you go to start a business, there, there's a lot of things that you have to know, of course. Um, but uh, I, want to, I want to talk in particular about four really critical things uh, because um, these are things that are going to be um, either very costly or could be very costly if you uh, haven't thought through them or haven't planned them out in advance. So the, the first one is technology. The, the tech, you know, some people think that the tech is really tied to perhaps the, uh, the ordering system or just the website. Um, but actually, there's, there's a lot of layers of, of, of the tech piece. So thinking about things like, for instance, where are you going to store your data? What's, what's a secure way to store that? Do you need collaboration tools between yourself and somebody else uh, within the business itself? And, um, and then what are you going to use for um, things like processing the sale, the accounting of those types of things? And so, um, you know, th th there's a lot of really good tools out there. Um, some of them are very cost effective and understanding and researching that piece of it and really um, drawing out exactly what it is that you think that you need and then um, bouncing those ideas off of, of, of advisors and people um, can, can make a world of difference. So, so plan that thing out in advance. It, it's gonna save you a whole lot of, of headaches um, and a whole lot of time and, and a lot of money as, as you move forward. Uh, this, the second piece, which um, I believe is so commonly known and is probably one of the, uh, well, it'd be one of the most, um, um, you know, challenging areas uh, for new business ventures is really tied to the marketing and the branding. So, so in order for you to to get leads, in order for for people to be attracted to your business, you have to market and you have to create a marketing strategy. And again, you know, if if you're not a marketer or if you don't have a lot of experience in marketing, this part can be a challenge because you, where do you start, right? And, and if you move just to a third party uh, firm that can be extraordinarily expensive as well. And so thinking about your audience, thinking about how you're gonna go about reaching them, what you're gonna do uh, with those folks in order to make sure that you, you've, you've you know, tapped into the right uh, consumer group um, and what the budget's gonna be as associated with it. Um, and then so, some of the things is, um, which part of this is gonna be organic marketing, so things that you're gonna do on social versus paid or, or, or paid digital marketing. The third piece is um, really understanding consumer behavior. So the, the, the opportunity that you have here is to understand what problem you're trying to solve. I think you know, just so many times people start a business because it's something they, they like or something that they're interested in um, or they think that there might be, be money in it. But you have to think about the problem that you're trying to solve and how are you going to go about solving it for them in a very efficient way. And if, if, you just, you know, if there's just one thing that you can take out of uh, this video, um, it's simply this, be easy to do business with. And this really ties to um, dealing with your vendors, and of course, for sure, dealing with your customers. So think about how easy it's gonna be for them to navigate your website, your mobile app, uh, your phone system, all of those things in order to be easy to do business with. So solve a problem, solve it efficiently, and be super easy to, to, uh, you know, to do business with. And then the final piece here is, is really around resources. So as a startup, um, you often have some challenges with respect to, you know, perhaps you, you won't have enough money for a, an advisory board or for consultants on, on certain areas. But you have to utilize the resources that you have. You know, when I, when I go back to uh, when I first um, started my own business coming from, from an executive corporate position, um, you know, I, I wanted to utilize everybody I possibly could. So our commercial banker became a resource. Um, interesting enough, our accountant uh, at the time, we, we selected an accountant, they became a resource and, and to this day, 15 years later, uh, they are still a great resource. Um, your lawyer can be a great resource. You might have a brother-in-law or a friend or somebody else that you can uh, rely on to, to just bounce ideas off of. Um, and in so many communities, there's these really wonderful community groups where you can, you can um, talk with others and connect with uh, like-minded business leaders. So Chamber of, of Commerce, of course, is, is a natural type of, of spot to go to, but um, tap into them. Reach out to the, these resources, share with them what you're doing, learn from them, be open to, to criticism and critique, um, and utilize that, that, that team of resources because again, they, they, there's probably decades worth of business knowledge that's out there that you can just tap right into. Thank you for tuning in to our Business with Hope series. Every Wednesday and Friday, we'll be sharing tips on how to be successful in business as if you were a driver's seat franchisee.